சத்குரும் பிரம்ம வித்வரம் வசுதேவ சுதம் தேவம் கம்சானோரமர்தனம் தேவகி பரமானந்தம் கிருஷ்ணம் வந்தே ஜகத்குரும் தமேவ மாதா ச பிதத்துமேவ தமேவ பந்துஷ சகத்துவமேவ தமேவ வித்யா திரவிடம் தமேவ தமேவ சர்வம் அமதேவ தேவ தமேவ சர்வம் குருதேவ தேவ ஹரிவோம் பஞ்சதர்சி தர்டீன் சாப்டர் அவ்வித்யாரண்ய சுவாமி பிரம்மானந்தி ஆத்மானந்தா வேர் ஹவு ஆத்மா பிகம்ஸ் மெனி அண்ட் தேர் ஃபோர் நோயிங் ஆத்மா இஸ் எம் ஆஸ் நோயிங் பிரம்மன் ஆர் நாலேஜ் இன் வால்ஸ் அஹம் பிரம்மாஸ்மி ஐ ஆம் பிரம்மன் அண்ட் தட் இஸ் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஃப்ரம் தி கிரியேஷன் இஸ் எவ்ரி திங் ஸ்டார்ட் ஃப்ரம் சச்சிதானந்த பிரம்மன் சத் is one aspect of it or the existence aspect consciousness aspect or ananda aspect of the brahman nature has been discussed in different upanishads so what is there was nothing but infinite brahman which is of the nature of existence consciousness and limitless and it became many so it appears to become many because it cannot really become into something being infinite so therefore apparent is coming from the force is apparent force called maya so that's what is being discussed here so what was there before is uh, the the pure brahman then transformation to varieties and again go back into solaya pralaya all these aspects have been coming out because i see creation and therefore all these explanations are provided the one who thinks that who sees and suffers as a consequence of identification so 66 for now avikriya brahmanishta அவிக்கிரிய பிரம்மனிஷ்டா விகாரம் யச்சநேகதா விகாரம் யச்சநேகதா மாயந்து பிரகிருத்திம் வித்யாத் மாயந்து பிரகிருத்திம் வித்யாத் மாயினந்து மகேஸ்வரம் மாயினந்து மகேஸ்வரம் டுகதர் அவி அவிக்கிரிய பிரம்மனிஷ்டா விகாரம் யச்சநேகதா மாயந்து பிரகிருத்திம் வித்யாத் மாயினந்து மகேஸ்வரம் the second line mayant pragutim vidyat mayant maheshwaram is comes from the swetasura upanishad so avikriya brahmanishta so avikriyam that is which is this which cannot undergo because that is the nature of brahman so that which cannot undergo any modification that is brahmanishta that which is abiding in the brahman that which cannot transform at all but appears to transform that which is impossible to transform is appearing to be transfer transform and that is the power of maya shakti maya shakti makes one which is not possible to appear in many varieties making it to varieties so that is the ghatana patiyasi maya or so shankara calls it that which is makes impossible possible what's impossible that infinite cannot undergo any transformation but there is possible because i see different the transformations so this what kind of transformation that is impossible therefore it's an apparent transformation and that apparent force is you can see the beauty and power of that apparent transformation or apparent force because you can see the beauty of varieties and varieties of things are being created and unimaginable things are created in the in the universe and the forces and the things are the life itself is inexplainable or unexplainable so that is avya avya avikraya brahmanishta vikaram yatyani kadha mayand prakrutim vidyad mayinant maheshwaram so avikraya brahmanishta the maya that is existing in the where is that maya it should be in the brahman only how do you say it's in the brahman because brahman is infinite there cannot be anything else for maya to exist and maya has to exist at the locus of something so which is the locus of maya brahman only which is the maya is also expressed as avijja at the jiva, at the jiva level so where is the avijja in the brahman only so how can brahman be avijja avijja these are the comments that are you can see in the in the in the criticism of advaita particularly by bhagavan ramanuja the seven untenable seconds the avijja of of advaita the first number one is 
Uh, says, where is avidya? Locus of avidya. If you say Brahman, Brahman cannot have avidya. Why? Because he is Brahman and he is the the uh, Sarvavidu Sarvagnya. He is uh, all knowing and all that. How can there be ignorance in the Lord? So Advaita doesn't say the Lord has a Lord uh, Avigna, it is a Brahman, so they are separating the Lord from Brahman. So in the Brahman, there is pure Satchidananda being infinite. In the infinite, there cannot be anything other than infinite. If you say there is a force, a Maya Shakti, there is Avidya, there is ignorance, ease, that easiness is coming from the Brahman only. So therefore, it cannot but be Brahman only, but at the same time, Brahman doesn't have it. So it is not a contradiction. It's not a contradiction. It's only from the point of absolute, there is no ignorance nor a knowledge. It is one without a second. But at the point of relative, yes, because I do not know that I am Brahman, so I am not having the knowledge of that Aham Brahmasmi. So where is the locus of uh, the avidya? He is a jiva who doesn't know that I am Brahman. But when jiva becomes, understand that I am Brahman, then there is no avidya also. So you have to be careful, where is avidya? All the discussions are from what reference state are we talking about. So here, avikriya brahmanishta. So this maya is, is locust in the brahman only. Brahma anekada, in many ways it is expressing itself, vikaram, it says modifications of that one force into varieties and varieties. You have a, the electrical force and the kinetic force and this gravitational force, all are in waveforms and so on. That all these varieties and names and forces, in, in innumerable forces are there, all are coming from one force, centrifugal force, centripetal force all forces that we study in physics. So, vikaraha modifications, yati undergoes. So, the, why? Because mayantu prakrutim vijyat, mayantu maheshwaram. So, this projection are called maya and know that that is prakruti. Prakruti, prakarshena, kuta yogyatva. That which can become many in, in that. And this statement, maya is same as prakruti. Maya is same as prakruti who says, Upanishad says, that's why Upanishad becomes a means of knowledge for us. And who is a Mayavi? Maya means where is this Maya Shakti? Is Ishwaraha, Mayan, Mayanam to Maheshwaram. It is locus in the, in the wielder of Maya is the Ishwara. So Maya, Ishwara comes in, uh, at, a, at a level, is you cannot say Brahman appearing as Ishwara and Maya, with the Maya Shakti. It's all appearance only. In Brahman, there is no distinction. But here we are describing a Maya Shakti, which is different from Ishvara, because one is locust in Ishvara. So therefore, differentiation comes only with the creation. So we have two degrees of Brahman. One is absolute Brahman. The other one is only Saguna Brahma, which is Ishvara. Ishvara we pray like anybody else and until we realize there is no separate Ishvara because there is no separate Jagat itself. You will see that when they analyze the deep leaf state, there is no universe other than myself. So one has to go through complete analysis. 67. Adjo vikara akashaha, adjo vikara akashaha, so stibat, so stibat chapi chapriaha, so stibat chapi chapriaha, avakasha stasya, avakasha stasya, rupam tadna, avakasha stas rupam tadna, mitya natu tatriam, mitya natu tatriam, together. Ajo vikara akashaha, sosti, bhachapi chapriyaha, avakasha stasya rupam, tan mitya natu tatrayam. So, ajyaha, ajyaha means what was the creation, he is now describing 
from the Maya Shakti with the Ishvara, Ishvara using a Maya Shakti, who is Ishvara? With a Brahman only, a conscious Sarvajna Sarvavitu, that part we call it the Ishvara, and the Shakti is called the Maya, and Ishvara using the Maya Shakti, which is same as the, uh, the, uh, the, the Prakriti, and the Prakriti Purusham Chaiva Vijunadi Ubhavavi. So this is Anadi, from beginningless is there, because beginning is a time concept. Time came in later after the 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 concept of Ishvara. So here Ajyo Vikaraha Akasha Sosti Bhatcha Pichapriyaha. So first creation Vikaraha is Akashaha. Saha Asti. So Brahman Saha Asti exists in the form or Akashaha exists. So existence aspect of Akasha is that. And if this is the Brahman aspect that is the other aspects of the pure the Satchidananda are not reflected in the in the Akasha. Akasha space is inert as though it exists. How do you know Akasha? For those who want to know, you cannot see Akasha. You cannot it's only defined as that which provides Avakasham. And that's what he says. Avakasha Sasya Rupam. Its nature is to accommodate. So how much you can accommodate? You keep on accommodating because the space is itself is infinite. Anything that are accommodated are finite. So you can inc accommodate infinite things there. Why? Because it is you can see galaxies and galaxies and galaxies and looking at this distant galaxy, it is moving away, moving away or in space only. So there is how far it can go. There is, what is the limit of space? You cannot have limit for space. Space is infinite. So therefore, and it accommodates everything in that. So avakasha sya rupam. So ajyaha vikaraha asti sasti bhatsya vichapriyaha. So existence is expressed immediately. Immediately, so the bhati and priyam, so consciousness and the ananda aspects are not, are there, but it's not reflected. Oh, I like this space. I oh, there's a lot of space. I love this. When you say I love this, what are you loving? The space. I like it. That means the likeness is there inherent in the space also. People like to be. There, there should be space. The husband and wife also. You have to give some space. <laughs> That's what they say. So, uh, so because people lo love space. So, So consciousness because illumined by Akasha. So, Akasha has a different meaning here. Here there is Avakasha Tasya, that which accommodates. And the Akasha is used in the, in the Brahadaranik Upanishad in this in the sense of the pure consciousness. How is that? Because Akasha means the, that which Bhati, that which illumines, like Prakasha. So Prakasha is, is, come, is also come from the Akash, which is same as Akash. So Akasha is, is also Chaitanya Swarupam and people like it. Therefore, it is Bhati Abhicha Priyaha, both the consciousness and the and the and the ananda aspects are also reflected there avakasasya rupam its nature what is the name you are giving akasha what's its form its rupam its form is it accommodates that itself is the is the space so how do i know there is a space i am putting more things therefore a lot of space is there so space is that which accommodates everything and if i say i don't have enough space in this room that means i cannot put any more anything there everything is packed no more space that means the when you say there is no space that means within the boundaries that i am defining i cannot put things there if i remove the boundaries there is enough space outside so essentially Aukasha, Aukasha, this they are not enough space because we are talking about within the limitations of some other Upadi, we are talking not really about the space. Aukasha Stasya Rupam. So there are, what is its property? This is property. Aukasha is known through the Shabda. Shabda means sound. So looking at this in the next room, I hear somebody is there. So I can, by the voice I can see spatial coordinates. That's why we get a stereographic projection. 
geographic sound because we know the sound is coming from here that sound is coming there and therefore there is a specially located sound so I think aeroplane is somewhere there I can hear so from the sound I can locate where the space spatial coordinates so that's why call it as subdom is a it's a it's a property or it can be defined by that property sugar is what sugar is when I put it in the mouth yes I know it's not salt it is sweet so therefore it is sugar not salt so how do I know it's from its property I have to find out what the original is from its property I can locate where it is there is a space in that space in that corner there is a oh, the aeroplane is coming so therefore it accommodates and also it, it can be located through this space to the sound avaka asasya rupam tan mitya natu tatrayam so therefore the tat tu that indeed mitya so it is there but it's not really there mitya so it is neither real nor unreal is mitya tatriyam na that the asti bhati priyam or these three aspects are not related to the akasha part is coming from the from the Brahman. So here he is defining that Akasha has a certain properties of which one Asti exists and Priyam Rupam. It is of the the, the uh, uh, Bhati and Priyam, the consciousness part and the and the like part coming from Sachidananda aspect of the Brahman and other thing is Avakasha is coming from the nature of Akasha itself. So in every object we have five asti bhati priyam rumam rupam namam rupam asti bhati priyam asti bhati priyam rupam namam chaitancha panchakam so these are five aspects of it asti bhati priyam this comes in sat sit ananda the other one is related to the properties of the matter that's what here tat na tattu trayam trayam is uh, the Satchidananda aspect is coming from Brahman and uh, other two Nama and Rupa. Rupa is accommodation and Nama is the name Akasha that comes from the, the, the matter that is called the Akasha. 68. Navyaktehe Purva Masjaiva Navyaktehe Purva Masjaiva Napaschacha Pinasataha Napaschacha Pinasataha Ada Vanteja Yan Nasti Ada Vanteja Yan Nasti Vartamano Pitatada Vartamano Pitatada The last line Ada Vanteja Yan Nasti Vartamano Pitatada is coming from the Godapada the, from the Mandukya Karika. He uses the statement. So Navyaktehe Purvam so purvam yaktehi before manifestation of the akasha na eva it was not there space was not there cha nasataha pascha once is destroyed when the space is destroyed it is not there so yat ade onto so it was not there before it's not there later it's only appearing now when i am in the waking state i see space and time and all that and before i came into the waking state it was not there in the deep sleep state there is no space and when i go back to deep sleep state again then there is no space in between it has coming so ade onte it was not there before it's not there later and in principle it's not really there in now even in the now also that's why statement is Ada Vantechi and Nasti Vartamana Upitadada. Even in reality, its space is not really there. What, I, what is there is only Brahman appearing as the space. That is a knowledge now. So, in and through the space, I have to recognize the presence of Brahman. This becomes a sadhana for a seeker. So, in and through looking at the gold ring, you see, it was not there. In the ring, ring was not there before. Ring will not be there future. But ring is not really there even now also because it was before. It was a gold. It is now. It is later. It will also go back into gold. But in between, appearing as a ring form. But also gold is there. So gold it was. Gold it is. Gold it was. Then where is the ring? 
So ring is also Vartamana, Vartamana Epitadu. It's not really there, but I, I am seeing it, therefore I can use it as a, so at the transactional level it is there, at the absolute level it is not there before, it's not there, therefore it has no permanent existence and that is the definition of Mitya. Mitya is only a temporary existence in the transactional. It is there in the waking world. It is not there because I, when I go to dream state, a completely different world is there. In terms of deep sleep state, both worlds are not there. So every day it is coming and going, it is coming and going. Therefore, it is not really there even in the waking state. If I use that properly, while transacting, while using the ring and a bangle and a necklace and knowing very well there is no really bangle and a necklace, what is there is pure consciousness alone, that becomes a knowledge. So, Adha Avante Chaya Nasti Vartamana Opita Dada. So, this is from the Gaudapada Karika also. 69, he goes to the Bhagavad Gita Sloka now. Avyakta dini bhutani, yakta madjani bharata, avyakta nidhan yeva, ichaha krishna junam prati. Together, avyakta dini bhutani, yakta madjani bharata, avyakta nidhan yeva, ichaha krishna junam prati. So, this is a statement, the three fourth of the statement is coming from the Bhagavad Gita. He says, Avyakta Dini Bhutani Vyakta Madhyani Bharata. It was not there before. Why are you crying, Arjuna? They were not there before. And they will not be there in the future. And in between you think there is something there real. And you are crying for that. So, this is to be applied whenever we are suffering due to the, to the, to the situations. Because it was not there before. And it's not going to be there permanent because all the things that we thought worried about it five years after this it won't it will not be there five years long long back ago whatever we thought we worried about it they are not of importance now so what was not there before what's not there going to be future so arjuna why are you crying so avyakta dini bhutani yakta madhyani bharata only in the middle it's showing up avyakta nidhanan yeva it goes back to unmanifest. Every day you are doing that in the sleep. It, before you go to sleep, it is there. But once you have slept, it is not there. And afterward again it is coming. Or if you go back again, in the, in the waking state it is there. But when you go back to sleep, it is not there. When you, when you go back, again when you get up, again it is coming. It is continuously changing. And what is there that doesn't change all the time is you. Because I was there in the waking state, I was there in the dream state, I was there in the deep sleep state. I was there all the time. Only thing that is changing is states are changing. So states are mitya. I am the only one that is really satyam. So avyakta nidhan yeva iti aha. This is what is said by Krishna Arjuna Prati. So Arjuna Prati to Arjuna aha. This is, Krishna told this in Arjuna. So in the Bhagavad Gita the statement comes. 70. Mrudvatte Satchidananda, Mrudvatte Satchidananda, Anugachanti Sarvada, Anugachanti Sarvada, Nirakashi Sada Dinam, Nirakashi Sada Dinam, Anuvutir Najatmani, Anuvutir Najatmani, Kada Mrudjat. Mrudvatte Satchida, Mrudvatte Satchidananda, Anugachanti Sarvada, Nirakasi Sada Dinam, Anavutir Nijatmani. So, Mrud, Mrudvatu, like a mud, T, you, Satchid, that, Satchid Anandaha. So, that pure, that which is the, that which is essentially pure Satchidanandam. Sarvada always Anugachanti is present always. Always Brahman is present whether it is a waking state or a dream state and a deep sleep state. I don't recognize Brahman but whatever is nothing but Brahman only. The world comes and the world goes. But the existent part of the Brahman, Sat, Satyam, Yanam, Anantam aspect 
or success, ananda aspect will not disappear. It dis it only merges back into me, uh, coming back out of from me and merges back into me. Waking state is coming from me, and then dream state is coming from me, and deep sleep state is coming from me. But I am independent of any state, and that is essentially mudvatte. Just as the clay is there before, and when it forms in the different parts, clay itself is there, but in the appearing in different forms, and when the parts are broken, again back to clay only. So clay it was, clay it is, and clay will be. Clay has not really undergone any real modification. It's only apparent modification. Same way applies to to all that is only appearances. Mudvatti satchidanam just like mudvat, just like the mud. The satchidananda that is sarvada always is there in the pure existent consciousness that is Brahman. Anugachanti that which is always present. In the space, nirakasha. When the space is unmanifest, nijatmani it goes back into the self only. Sat adi nam anubhutihi. And when it goes back, you experience as the existence aspect only. Is experience like a mud? Its satchid ananda is always present. So what happened to the space? What happened to the time? So we are investigating everything. Space is galaxies. Galaxies so vast and so vast and all that. We can get lost and trying to analyze the space and trying to analyze the time and all that. But both goes to disappear when you go to deep sleep state. There is no space and there is no time. But what is there? Only time is only the conscious entity that I am. So I am as a waker. I am as a dreamer. I am as a deep sleeper. I am never changes. But I don't recognize myself in the deep sleep state when everything is not there. But using that example, now I know space itself is not real. The time is not real. And nothing is real. Only thing real is I am. That is Atma. And reveling in Atma because it's the nature of the happiness. Using the intellect, I can revel even in the waking state. That becomes a jnani. So it's not anubhuti. It's not lack of uh, experience of myself. It is a lack of understanding what that myself is. Let's do seventy-one. Avakāśe vismṛte dha, avakāśe vismṛte dha, tatra kim bhāti tevada, tatra kim bhāti tevada, sūnyame veti ce dastu, sūnyame veti ce dastu, nāmata druk vibhātihi, nāmata druk vibhātihi. Together, avakāśe vismṛte dha, tatra kim bhāti tevada, sūnyame veti ce dastu, Namata druk vibhatihi. So, atha and avakashi that provides you avakasham, the space, the aspect of it, that which accommodates. Say, vismuti is when you drop it, tatra des te to you, kim what is What is there? I do? If when I drop the space and time, I don't see anything. Because for me to see anything, space has to be there. And space is not there, then I cannot see. Then what do you say? There is something. So there is nothing there. So if nothing there is like going to the student was asked sent to, to the hall and say, see if anybody is there in the hall. He goes around and looks around and comes back and says, sir, there is nobody there. How do you know there is nobody there? Sir, I saw that. There, I couldn't see anything. Therefore, there is nobody there. To say that there is nobody there, I have to be there. If I don't go and say, do I know if anybody says, I don't know. I have to go and see. So, even in darkness, that's why we give example, say when it's completely pitch dark, it says, what is there? So, I don't know what is there, I cannot see it. So, what is there? How, why do you cannot see? I see only dark, because it's all dark here, I cannot see. How do you know it's dark? That I can see. I can see that I cannot see. Why? Because it's dark. Darkness I can see, but in what light I am seeing darkness? That is the pure consciousness that is illumining the darkness also. That I am is known, but who is that I am? That I don't know. That means ignorance is covering that my knowledge there. Just as darkness is covering my knowledge of everything. Go into these details more because people think that 
there is not it is a sunyam it's not a sunyam it is pure existent consciousness that i am is there in the deep sleep state we we'll stop here om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om sri gurubhyo namaha